My name is Jacob Tobiah, and I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. By the time I was around 16, I came out to my parents as gay, right? Like, I thought I was done, that was it. Uh, and then I started doing a bunch of gay activism. And as part of that, I started going to some local LGBT events um, in, in the community. And one of the things I went to, because I grew up in Raleigh and Chapel Hill is like a 40 minute drive away or so. Um, and so I went to this conference called the Unity Conference. The workshop was facilitated by this person, Terry Phoenix, who is the director of the LGBT Center at UNC Chapel Hill. And one of the things I learned at the very beginning was that not all people use the pronouns he or she. Um, some people use the pronoun they or z or here. I didn't know that there were even options that I could choose from. Um, and so Terry used the pronoun they for the whole workshop. They were saying like, oh, you know, I, I, I play with gender. Gender is this thing that I play with. It's like, it's like this game. Um, and you know, some days I'm more masculine and some days I'm more feminine and that's, that's okay and that's part of the fun. And I had never thought about gender as something fun before and I went into school the next day or the next week and talked to some of my friends who were also um, organizing in the GSA with me, the Gay Straight Alliance. Uh, and I talked to them about like, I learned all these things at this conference. I learned that you know, gender is this spectrum, not this binary, that you can play with gender. And I think we should encourage people at our school to do that. Uh, we should have a gender bender day. Or, or a gender non-conforming day. Let's have a gender non-conforming day. That would be so cool, right? Um, and the two people who were most excited about it with me were uh, my, this, this, uh, these two friends that I had who were dating at the time. And they were like, you know, a heterosexual couple, but they were super jazzed about this gender non-conforming day idea. Then a week later, I, I was hanging out with, um, with one of my friends who is the male counterpart of the couple. Uh, and we were hanging out at the mall and we were talking about the idea that we had. And you know, he says to me, like, sh do you think we should just buy some high heels? Like, I didn't even have the script to, like, respond because I was like, well, I have to say no because I'm supposed to say no. Like, I'm supposed to brush that idea off as stupid, but I don't want to say no. Like, I want to say yes. And so I said yes. And so we went to Charlotte Russe uh, and we go into the store and it's an all women's store. So immediately I'm like, I'm terrified. And so we're sort of breezing past all this various anxiety in the other shoppers and we go to the clearance rack of shoes. I find a size 10 uh, pair of black leather pumps that are about five inches. I grab them off the shelf and I try them on and I, they hurt like hell and they, uh, getting my feet in them is a big challenge, but they went on and they were the only pair of shoes in the whole store that went on my feet. I found that pair of shoes and then my friend found this pair of like purple uh, velvet, like they think they had Velcro, they were really weird. And so we're walking around with our newly acquired purchase and about 20 or 30 minutes later, his girlfriend picks us up. And so we drive to a McDonald's as one is wont to do uh, and we got some food. So we, we were telling her all about the process of buying him, sort of the, you know, the trials and tribulations of the store and how people were looking at us or whatever. And then we both realized like, we don't know how to walk in these things. Like we'd never actually walked up and down, you know, more than three yards in them. And so we decide, let's learn, right? Because she can teach us. And so we had this kind of runway coaching moment in the parking lot of this McDonald's in North Raleigh. And I, I'm pretty sure I was terrible, um, but I can't decide if I was terrible just because I wasn't that good and I had to get used to them or if I was just so giddy that I couldn't focus. You know, I was like an overachieving high school student and so I was staying up late to do homework and my parents would always go to bed before me. Um, and so after my parents would go to bed, I would like scurry up to my room and I would grab these shoes and I would go back downstairs and I would just sit on the couch like in my heels doing like my US history homework. And, and just sitting, you know, like in these shoes that I realize now were too small for me like by a lot. Um, I, it was so empowering to be in my home space, finally letting myself feel a little more like me. I, I wish I could show myself at 13 who I am now um, and be like, you're going to wear gowns. Like, you're not just going to wear heels. You're not just going to paint your nails once. You're not just going to put your mom's lipstick on. You are going to wear a gown at a fancy event and at a dinner and you're gonna turn heads in it. Like, that's what's in store for you, kid. 
you know? Just embrace this faster. Don't be afraid of it. Love it.